Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus, these messages are for you. And today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what energies or blessings may potentially be coming in your direction. What are you going to be attracting here potentially in the month of October? But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Taro and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. As you know, these are all free messages. So the only thing I ask in return is for you to give me the thumbs up. Let me know that you like these messages so that I can continue to bring them for you. So please like, share, or subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. Alrighty, so let's take a look here, Virgo. Now, if you haven't done so already, remember, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on my live streams or you don't miss out on my uh, content uploads. Virgo, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's coming in for you? Energies, blessings coming in your direction here in the month of October. All right, Virgo, you have the one who calms Ooh. and the one who hesitates. All right. So for some of you here, I'm getting that there may have. OK, so one or two things. So some of you are exiting this energy. Some of you are entering this energy. OK, so take it the way it may resonate for you. But it's, I'm going to start here with the one who hesitates because I'm getting here as if there has been. Or well, there may be here a little bit of getting into your head, okay? Getting into your head and that action of getting into your head or thinking too much about something or overanalyzing something or judging either yourself too critically or the situation, circumstance, or event, or person too critically may create a sense here of apprehension, of being a little bit uncertain about something. Or for others of you, it's like that energy, placing so much focus on the energy that I just channeled here, may create some type of delay or challenge here, and then you even question something even further. But I'm getting here a little bit of this overthinking or a little bit of this energy coming from a sense of lack of confidence. So there may be something here that has either, this could be in your past or recent past, or this is something that you may be encountering right now or may experience at some point in time here in the month of October. But I feel that this fear-based or self-sabotaging situation, circumstance, event, maybe you know, a trigger here that may happen, may happen here. Look at this. During this, during this month of October, there's a lot of leaves there changing colors. There's this kind of fall-esque type of energy here. This breeze, you know, uh, this kind of breeze of change or um, the air of change here. So I'm getting here for some of you that if and when you let this go, Okay, so when you let this go, this energy that I channeled first, okay, so I'm getting like this should be here intuitively. Like this is the one uh, we need to, the energy we need to talk about first in order to understand what's coming after. So I'm getting here that the moment you're able to release, just like this air or this wind is blowing in this direction, the moment we're able to, in a way, release this type of thinking or feeling or apprehension or uncertainty or being overly critical about uh, something or maybe even yourself here the moment you're able to kind of let this go you will be able to let go of the hesitation you'll be able to um really you know allow yourself to fall into the sweet surrender of your inner knowing of being able to quiet your mind, to quiet your thoughts so that you are able to tap in 
to your intuition. So not so much what is your brain telling you to think, because for you, Virgo, especially, there are moments here that you really dive deep into your head. I mean, so much so, so much introspection and so much soul searching that it may create a little bit here of being drained, mentally fatigued, okay? Thinking so much about something or wondering so much about something or letting your thoughts kind of take over so much that there's a sense of mental fatigue. There's a sense of needing a break from your head, right? And, you know, at times that may steer you in a direction to cope with it in a way that may not be the healthiest, right? So here in the month of October, there's a sense here of changing this energy of saying, listen, we acknowledge that this may be an energy that you are either accustomed to doing or an action you're accustomed to doing or an energy that you are used to entertaining. But let's try something different here in the month of October. Let's, for, for a change, let this go. And the way that we're going to calm the mind or let this go is by going into a state of stillness, quieting the mind, calming the mind, so that you are able to tap in to this owl. And the owl symbolizes wisdom. The owl symbolizes intuition. It symbolizes your gut level feeling. It symbolizes that little voice inside of you that is there to help guide and steer you. But if you're too much in your head, that little voice within you, that higher self, your angelic realm, your spiritual, you know, or ethereal network, or your gut level feeling, okay, whatever name you want to call it, it gets a little bit difficult or it's, there's a sense of static happening and it's hard for you to really connect with that. So here in the month of October, this is saying in stillness and in quiet, you're going to be able to know or to understand or to be able to release this sense of uncertainty or this sense of delay of not knowing which way to go because you're so caught up in the thinking process that it's causing some type of analysis paralysis. So here in the month of October, the blessing that's coming in for you, it's like you're being rescued here by this owl symbolically here, because if you look here, there are two cones over this person's ears. It's like, I'm too caught up in my head. I can't hear other than my thoughts or my insecurities or my vulnerabilities. And this um, owl is coming in in a way to land on your shoulder or tap you and say, hey, take off the cones over your head, over your ears, and listen, just quiet the mind. Create a sense of, of, of stillness. You can start here, um, Virgo, at the, at the start of your day, first two minutes when you wake up in the morning, just connect with a sense of stillness. Maybe two minutes in the morning or two minutes before you go at, to sleep at night. Or two minutes within your day when you start seeing yourself going down that rabbit hole. But there is a need here for you to acknowledge and a requirement in a way on your end here, Virgo. That if you want to be in a kind of mindset of clarity, if you want to kind of um, create a sense of inner peace, that the inner peace starts by you creating a sanctuary, a place, a time of day, a moment within yourself throughout your day, or maybe little moments throughout your day where you just create a moment of silence. Now that silence could be in meditation, that silence could be in just listening to your favorite music, it could be um, going out for a walk, it could be watching the sunset, it could be sitting um, and, and, you know, just looking at the, you know, I don't know, scenery or something. But there's something here about quieting the mind and doing that consistently when your thoughts get in the way, okay, when your mind wants to take over. 
and create a little bit of that energy of chaos or havoc here. And look at this. Only you can um, make certain things happen here um, in regards to your blessing. You have the power here, Virgo, to make something happen. This is a time for action. And the magician energy, now granted, this is not a tarot deck. This is an oracle deck. But the magician card here is um, telling me here, look at this, in appreciation. Yeah, be appreciative. All right, so what I'm getting here with the magician energy in this oracle deck, it's coming across as the tarot um, card in, in, in the magician and tarot. Well, first of all, the magician is ruled by Mercury. Mercury has a lot to do with communication. There may be a lot of mind communication happening in your mind. There may not be a lot of communication happening face to face or with a person or with, you know, talking things out here. So that's number one. The second thing I'm getting here for you, um, Virgo, is that you have the power to tap in to your resources. It's like there are resources in the palm of your hands, but in order for you to be able to do it, you have to put in the effort. So in order for you to quiet the mind, there will be here a requirement in the month of October for you to put in the effort to silence your mind through either meditation, meditative um, you know, actions, meditative hobbies, something that draws your mind into a state of stillness so that you can be able to put that into action and things, you can start seeing the result of it. Because a lot of you here may say, well, you know what? It's just something just seems to be delayed or something doesn't seem like it's coming. There's a sense here of, you know, some delays in my, in some areas of my life. And this is saying, yeah, that could be because you're putting so much focus and energy on a thought pattern or a situation, circumstance, and event. And you putting your mind into that thing that isn't changing, isn't changing it. It's only creating more momentum and more energy to that thing that you don't want to deal with anymore, right? So wherever your mind goes, energy flows. And if you want your energy to flow into change or your energy to flow into actually creating your manifestations, being able to see whatever it is that you're wishing, dreaming, hoping, and desiring here on the 3D, it starts with you putting into action a sense of, daily ritual or a consistent action here of quieting your mind of being grateful of being appreciative of what you have so that the universe can say ding ding oh well virgo is being appreciative appreciative of what they have well let's give them more so they can be more appreciative for more things look at this what do I mean by that just imagine here virgo that every day you're doing something just something small for someone, and that person never says thank you. Do you think that that is going to breed the energy of you wanting to continually to give to that person? The answer is going to be no. You're going to get tired. You're going to say, you know what? I need to take a step back here because I'm giving, 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 even if it's something small, and this person isn't being appreciative. Same thing with the universe. The universe gives us signs, simple synchronicities, opportunities. Um, you know, maybe this whole entire message here is an, is an eye opener for you, right? And that in itself is a gift from the universe, a free gift. You didn't have to pay for it, right? So this is saying here, be aware of where your mind goes because where your mind goes, energy flows and what you think about, you bring about. So if you want to create more opportunities for you to bring those heart's desires, those wishes, those dreams, those desires into the present, be more grateful, spend some quiet time, whether that's in prayer, meditation, whether that is just saying thank you in the morning, thank you at night. You have here the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is in reverse. Again, look at this. It says delays. I want you to see something here, Virgo. And my apologies if this is going to run a little over. You have two cards that are validating and confirming the channeled message that is coming through for you. There's certain delays here, and I feel that the delays or the uncertainties or that 
the obstacles, the challenges, something here that hasn't been flowing like you wanted it or have been wanting it to flow, whether that is like what you've been hoping, dreaming, desiring, your goal, something here, whether in your love life, in your career, in your finances, it's because you are not putting in the required moments of appreciation that the universe wants you to notice and be able to learn because owls are also about learning, learning new ways to bring this manifestation into alignment in this timeline. And again, saying thank you and creating a moment of silence. The Ace of Wands here, I feel, needs to go over here. That's connected to this energy. Top of the reading. Guess what is coming right behind it here, Virgo? You're going to get everything you want and you desire, you wish, and your dream. Of course, it's going to take time because this is a pentacle energy. Pentacles energy take time. It's not something that happens overnight. But you have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is coming right under here. This stillness and quiet and calm. So this is saying here, there is an opportunity of this beautiful blessing for you, Virgo, in the month of October of not only tangible wealth, okay? So whether it's career, it's finances, but intangible stability. What's intangible stability? Love, time, making time for your loved ones, connecting with your partner, uh, making time to hang out with friends, to your loyal companions, have dog. That's why the dog is here in the Ten of Pentacles. There's a sense of long-term success in certain areas here that you may have felt in your life that have been a little stagnant or that lately haven't been moving or have not been as productive as you may have wanted it to be. So here in the month of October, Virgo, this is saying to you, these beautiful blessings of stability in different facets of your life, or perhaps maybe that one or two area of areas of your life that you are seeking clarity on here, there it, it's here, it's possible. The only thing you need to do is, again, manage your energy, use those resources, tap into that quietness, okay, that stillness, not you being quiet, but creating a moment of silence here of your thoughts so that you can learn a new strategy, so that you can create this Ten of Pentacles energy, be more appreciative of what you have so that you can create more of what you want to attract Virgo, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to like, share, and subscribe. Click here on the Lexatero logo and click here or click here for more messages and I'll see you soon.